Good morning, everybody, and welcome to episode 125 of Pumpkin Vale. No, Pumpkin Days with Camille in Pumpkin Vale. We have solved the mystery of how to catch bugs. I'm so pleased. And so now we can. Oh my gosh. Whoops. And I lost track of. This is what happens when you fall over. And I've upset Tessa. What are you guys doing? This is not the place for a pony traffic jam, you know. Alrighty. So, we're now going to move on with our quest of finding, um, I know, I've got to go take my medicine and get this sad letter over and done with, of finding all the special animals in Pumpkin Vale. Uh, we've caught, we've, we've caught everything for the museum except the bugs and we're going to work on that. But I think while we're working on that, we might, um, we might also work on let's just grab our payment yes i guess i can't expect everyone to help me out but i really thought you would help my with request i'm a bit sad now just a little bit such a guilt trip tessa that's mean i know but i did forget her quest and i did lose track of the time because i kind of fell over from drowning <laughs> okay we're gonna go put the baby in a feed trough Oh, actually, no, he can crawl around now, can't he? That's right. I don't know if I want him crawling around. He's a bit of a terror toad. All right, let's equip this shovel and uh, do our much-neglected animal bits. We also should go and get some more food from... Um, what's her face? Not Tessa, not Tracy. Oh, Alex. Alex, the, the lady who has cow food. Oh, no, the cows are sick from all the poop. Yeah. This is where I was. Hello, Paul. I'm sorry, Paul. I made you sick. Because I didn't get all the... Yeah, all the poop done. Oh, no. This is how it's going to be. Come here, you little rat. Oh, wait. You're not supposed to be over near the poo. What are you doing? Okay. We'll just run around the farm with him close by because we're going to have to keep picking him up and cuddling him every now and then. I think maybe the cow scared him or something. I don't know. Um, anyway, he's going to keep wailing. So we, we don't want to get too far away from him because we unless we really want to tolerate all the crying. That is going to occur if we do. Probably made, yeah, we have made all our cows sick because we were too busy fishing and chasing bugs and having fun. Um, I know. Now, now they're not going to help us. They're going to sit on their poo. Rude animals. I know, so much for not going too far away. I, I think I'm just going to let him cry if he starts. There he goes. I know, everyone ready for the serenade? The baby is going to sing for us. He's fine, I tell you. Absolutely fine. This is not doing my blood pressure any good. However, however, we need to enjoy his company while we can because we've only got him for another 11 more days and then he turns into a small child. And, and we get to discover, hopefully, what happens with children. Because my last one was a bit bugged. So hopefully, hopefully Cody won't be, won't be quite as buggy. No wonder these animals are sick. They're pooping in their food trough again. Food. I need an animal latrine. What? No, don't cry at me, baby. Oh, man. So basically, um, to find out why your animals are sick, whether it's from poop, oh, I'm lost, whether it's from poop or from lack of food, I know, I'll go grab the baby, that is so loud, uh oh, I've lost the baby, this is why I said we should put him down and not lose, where we, <laughs> oh no, oh my god, where'd he go, hang on. Okay, this is the easy way to find your child. Okay, that's the easy way to find the baby. Just leave the farm and you will find them. 
All right, to find out why your animals are sick, if you're ever wondering, just go into your, um, your animal tab and go to here and it'll say sick. Okay, if they're sick, let's go to Primrose. Yes, too much poop on the farm. All right, oh boy, the kid got away. Anyway, uh, so if you're ever wondering if you need to clean up your poo on your farm, your animal poo on your farm. I mean, you shouldn't be leaving it in little piles around your farm. Um, you will discover that it will tell you, oh man, kid, come here, where are you? Oh. It's okay, it's okay, rock the baby. We're all good. Oh man, that makes me feel sick. It makes the kid feel better, but boy, it doesn't do me much good. That's okay. Kid's the important one anyway. All right, Cody. Just give mummy a little bit more time to get the animal's mess cleaned up because there's no point going to Dr. Alec to cure our animals if, if there are a ton of things. He's about to start again, yep. <laughs> you see, he just lifts his head up and you're like, oh no, here it comes. Avalanche of whales. Come here, Cody. There you go, sweetie. Oh, I know, right? How about, look, I've got a nice, a nice soft feed bin for you to be in. There you go. All right, give me 20 seconds. I've just about finished cleaning up the farm. I know, kids never give you 20 seconds. They're just not, that's just not their thing. Alright, we are going to just ignore him for 20 seconds while I get this done, because I know, I know, this is the, this is the part of, the kid part of the game I'm not enjoying, he's screaming. Okay, here to pocket the shovel, now I have hands free for the baby. Hey kiddo, come on, let's go find the animals some food, I am going to leave that on the farm. I know, baby in the backpack, whistle up the pony. So there must be a certain, don't be helpful, Luca. Must be a certain amount of stuff. All right. Oh my gosh, did they breed? Look. Yes, I have baby fishes. Ah, so cute. Okay. I know. Oh my gosh, eggs. Actually, this isn't what we... Didn't I clean up all the eggs a couple of, oh, a couple of episodes back? That's right. They don't stop laying just because I'm busy. I like real chickens in that respect. Okay. Let's, um... Alright, we are going to try and fit... Uh, all... We're just, we're just going to fill it up. Let's just grab this. Let's put this fish up here. Once we hit a hay bale in there, we know... Actually, hang on. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight fours are 32, 33, 34. We can afford to buy 3,400 hay bales. <gasps> There's a cat! Oh, oh no, I need to build a pet house. I'm sad. I'm not that sad. Oh, but I'm. There's a cat! Um, <clears throat> What there isn't is food. Oh, yeah, okay. Thanks. Okay, so. Uh, we need to go to one of the other barns and see if we can get some food. Because yeah. food is important to animals and to humans and everybody. Um, I'm just trying to work out the, the, the best way to try and round up these animals. I'm thinking we might go for more of the beetles. Um, after, after we've had a look at what beetles are... Where are we going? That's right, we're going to Wahoo Beach. Uh, yes, I think I may have missed a cane though. Alright, hopefully we can catch Kane before he leaves. Uh, his shed goes reader. Yes, these guys work a little bit later, so I'm not completely... Oh, thank goodness. Alright, 
So this is why we're just going to buy 34 of these. Oh, no, we're not. What am I doing? Let's buy them in hundreds. All right, I'm going to try and fill up the um, the thing. Do I have any more space anywhere? All right, no, I don't. Oh, but I've got a lovely lot of cicadas. I'm really excited. Thanks, Kane. What have you got for sale? He's got a goat. That goat is so pretty. Black and white stripes. Pretty, pretty, pretty. All right, let's go and offload this uh, with our animals. And tomorrow I think we're going to try and get some... Well, actually, we're just going to bite the bullet and try and... Try and fill our food troughs. I'm still excited about being able to catch bugs now. That's kind of cool. Alright, we're going to start up the end. Oh, and I forgot to catch the vet. Alright, we're going to start up this end. And we are just going to fill all of these in. Alright, so now we have a hundred in that one. Well, we have a full a full set of feed troughs. This has been something I've been meaning to do for like donkeys yonks. Okay. I'm gonna do the same here with this. Oh no, don't stop. What are you doing, kid? Did someone step on you? Someone stepped on you, didn't they? You poor little mite. It's just a cow. It's okay. I know. It's okay. There you go. Settle down. Okay. Let's go with this one. Okay. There we go. So. Oh, no, you don't. Come here, you little rascal. Gotcha. Before you could start wailing. Let's have a quick look in our... I know, the minute you touch something else, that you, you drop the baby. So if we go to in bag, look at that. Four cicadas. I'm so pleased. Come here, you. Come here. Ah, come back. <laughs> I know. There's the cry of... There's the other cry of every parent ever. Ah, where are you? Come back. Oh, dear. They move like grease lightning. that in dump that in on top any any more poop sacks that we've missed no no more poop sacks okay grab the kid okay so uh how much cash do we have Sixty thousand. we're gonna go through that like i don't know a knife through butter whistle up the pony so we can get the pony home where are you pony luca you're not a helpful pony Alright, what we're going to do is we are going to cure all our animals and then we're going to start to get a little bit ruthless with our breeding program and we're going to start to buy a few more animals as well. Whoops, maybe I should put the pony outside. There you go, pony. Come on, kiddo. We are heading this way. Pop the kid into bed. All right. Sleep till half past five in the morning. All right, let's do that. That's not a bad sleep in, really. I know, I've been sleeping until half past six. That's a big sleep in. Let's go this way. Hey, Fayez, how you doing? Whoops. <laughs> Harvested all the crops. Oh, thank you. All the animal products, watered all the crops, fish some angler and chicken fettuccine. Do you know what, what though? I, I got for you. What's that, babe? Tucker keeps making inappropriate crafting. I probably shouldn't repeat them. Just close that. It's driving me batty. All right, where is my soup for... Oh, no. Okay, I have sold his soup. That's okay. 
I know, I was about to pick him up and he starts wailing. Children are evil. Alright. I know. Okay. We are going to go and look for... Well, I've got plenty of cow food now. Granted, it's only in three bins, but that's fine. Um, I should probably try and maybe pick up some chicken food. And then I think I should have myself a little cooking spree, but I'm really wanting to get out and get these bugs done. Ah, we were going to go see Alec before we did before we did anything crazy. That's right. I know, Alec, not Alex. The vet, not the farmer. Okay. Except he won't be there yet, will he? Man, I remember cages like this. When I was in high school, one of the one of the jobs, my very one well, of my very first job. Actually it might have been my first job. I was working as a um, cleaner in a vet clinic. And and yeah, we got to know those cages really well because we used to have to clean them. Oh, look at the sun. It's beautiful. Just that change. All right. So what I'm going to do is, oh, actually I don't think I've got that. That's that's kind of pretty. I thought I had all the bugs in this area. Maybe I don't. Well, let's check it out. Maybe I do, and I just don't remember. Oh no, I think that's new. Oh, it is new. It's so pretty. Oh, I'm. That's okay. All right, so change of plans. What we're going to do is we're going to take our little tushies down this end of the flower beds, make sure we're on full health, and we are going to catch all the things. There's a spider. Let's catch that. I don't leave the spiders alone, but why? Okay, we, I knew I thought we had that one, but you know what? Every time I think we have one, I just find there's something I haven't caught. I, don't know, I, should, I should probably zoom back a little bit. So what I'm looking for and trying really hard not to walk into as I walk right through the middle of the flowers where I'm likely to run into it is the Black Widow. Because A, because I don't really want to catch her. And B, because I don't really want to walk into where she is. Let's catch that thing. Venusta Orchid Spider caught that before. Alright, we're going for this butterfly over here. There we go, lanternfly. Pretty. I think we've caught one of those. I think this is another Venusta, but we'll catch it anyway. Oh, no, that's a golden silk orb weaver. How cute is that? I'm not seeing any Black Widows. I'm a little bit nervous. Any minute now, whack, I'm going to be on my tail. You know what? Maybe we can catch these two together. What do you reckon? Maybe? Uh-oh. Yes, we did. All right. So now we know we've caught all the spiders along here and all the butterflies and the whatnot. And you know what? The sad thing is... There was only one new one. That's that's kind of cool though. Okay, let's head this way. What we're going to go for is is I don't think we've caught all of the um, Okay, that's a mosquito. And I don't want to catch another one of those. sure we've caught all of the ones in here we're just going to ride straight through oh wait what's that that looks like a painted lady okay oh, we're gonna ride all the way through here that was horse poo i feel guilty Okay, that was that pretty green thing. I'm pretty sure we've got this. I'm pretty sure it's like an orchid thing. 
but yeah okay we do have the orchid bee but that's okay now we know and we're not left wondering fine we will leave the pony there we can always whistle teleport him this way anyway that's okay I don't know what that is. That looks a little bit like a mosquito to me. <laughs> oh no, it's a mosquito. Ow. Little beggars. Buzz zap. Knock you on your tail. Rude. Rude mosquitoes. That's all I'm saying. There's a dragonfly over here. Let's see if we can catch that one. Oops, where to go? There it is, right there. We may have it already, but you know what? Um, we are missing a few, so... Let's give it a shot. I think we've got that one. Yeah, we do have that one. That's okay. There was a bigger one up here that I was pretty sure I hadn't seen before. Ooh, what's that? That looks like a stingy, bitey bug. Oh man, these things, they're, they're fun to catch, but um, you can just mess up so easily with them because they move. Oh, do I have that? Yeah, I have the carpenter bee. That's okay. Now it's not spinning around in the middle of my... Oh, I missed that one. Um, there was a dragonfly and I ran into it. That's probably another carpenter bee. Let's catch it anyway. Oh wait, that could be a yellow jacket. <laughs> Ow! It was a yellow jacket. See, I hate them because they move and then they run into me and then they get offended because they ran into me and sting me. See, look at my look at my stamina. That's just Right, we're going to catch this one. We catch this one and not get stung by it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure I like my chances. Oh, whoops. No, it was a honeybee, but okay. It's fine. <laughs> I, I panicked and swung early. It's not the honeybee's fault I couldn't catch it. Ooh, what's that? Let's catch that thing. And not get stung. Happen to be? Yes. There's that dragonfly from the other day. See? There? I think we actually do have this one, but let's um let's catch it and see and just make sure we have caught it. Yeah, that's the common green Dana. Maybe that's not the one I saw the other day. There was a, like it was big and colourful. All right, this looks like another yellow jacket. Yeah, it's definitely another yellow jacket. All right, let's try and work out. Now, oh, no, but it was a wasp. You know what? We did say we were after some more of those stingy, bitey ones, right? Well, we, we're finding them. And at least we caught that one. It didn't catch us. This looks more like a honeybee or a carpenter bee. Or a fly. It was a fly. That's okay. We've caught those before. Yes. You know, I don't remember there being this many insects. You used to be able to run through here and not have to worry about get, getting bitten or stung. There's something. Which just goes to show how long it's been since I've been up here. Oh, no, that was one I wanted. All right, so we definitely have to come back out this way again. There's, that's another green orchid bee, I think. Okay, we're going to have to catch it now. Just looking for the bugs, man, the bugs. Okay, let's try again. This looks like an orchid bee, but, you know... There might be other pretty green things. That is so cute. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing wrong now. Now I'm just being a 
dog. Let's see what we can catch. That's a butterfly. Let's catch this one. I lost sight of it. They're a little bit hard to see sometimes. Yeah, we've definitely got that one before. Lattice teeth. All right. Oh, there's something. That looks like a, a bitey, stingy bee. Let's see if we can catch it. That looks like yellow jacket. Yes. All right, we caught it. I don't even know if we need it. Oh, no, we did need it. That's that's kind of cool. Okay. Oh, I'm pleased. We, we, we caught a, a thing that we needed. Ooh. Now, I think we've got this pretty blue butterfly. We'll, we'll just catch it and make sure. Oh, that is pretty, isn't it? Emperor butterfly. Yeah, we have caught it. So out of all of those things we've caught so far, just the yellow jacket and the Madagascan sunset are new. But I'm thinking if we just kind of work our way methodically. Oh, you know what we haven't done? We haven't gone and caught those cicadas over at um, out near Spoonie. The ones out near Spoonie, you know the ones I mean. All right, so that, that looks pretty much like all there is to it. Let me just eat some cake. Cake is good for you, right? Peach pie, yes. All right, we have our brown sneaker of cake speed, pie speed. Speed of pie, and I promise it's not a mathematical equation. I'm not even sure it's a mathematical possibility, but hey. Ooh. I missed that on the way up. No wonder it blends with the rocks. Look at that. That looks like another green dana. Yeah. Maybe we've caught all of the bugs. I don't know. It's very hard to tell at speed of pie because you run past them. Ah, oh, never mind. But it does get you back to your pony quicker if you've been silly and left it behind. Wait, there's there's one. What's that? That looks pretty. That looks kind of golden. Wow, maybe we don't have this one. Oh, I don't think we have that one. Yay! There's another one of our missing dragonflies. Cool. Oh, okay, that looks like a carpenter bee. The thing is, it's trying to work out its flight pattern. And, and to be honest, I should be... It's not a carpenter bee. It's a yellow hornet. Oh yeah, it's a carpenter bee. Ouch! Yeah, okay. So, um, sometimes what you can do is you can actually stop and be uber patient and just see where they're going to go and then maybe not stand there. Uh, right, does this set of flowers... This is Spirea. If you're ever after a source of Spirea close to town, this is it. pretties. I think we've got most of them though, but let's give it a shot. That looks like a painted lady. No, it's an orange sulfur butterfly. Yes, we have that anyway, but uh, we also need to keep an eye out for spiders just at the tops of the flowers. We don't want to walk into any. We probably have this fella here too. He's kind of cute. Or she. They. Yes, it's an atlas butterfly. Gorgeous that over there peacock butterfly 
For sure, we have that too. So I'm going to just do a quick scan for spiders. Head over and catch whatever this cutie is. It's it's just gone dusk too, which means that most of our day butterflies will have run away. Pale beauty. Ooh, I think we have one of those, but that's okay. So, I'm thinking, thinking we might go after some of the crickets that we don't have. Where'd my pony go? My ever patient pony that I keep leaving behind. Alright, this is like Spider City in here. And, and fortunately none of them seem to bite you. That looks different. I don't think I've got that one. I see the spider just beyond it, but I, I, we're probably going to miss it. I oh know, catching the, the butterfly. Brown recluse, and what did I miss? Death's head. Okay, no, I did have that. That's fine. Phew. Alright, not sad about those. I do have that little <gasps> fluttery thing. I know, I ran too close to it. I'm pretty sure we've got all of the spiders from this area. Hmm. Let's um let's take ourselves, we'll just grab our pony. Because we, we've missed the, the bitey stingy insects from the day now because they've all gone. So we might just head over to Cicada City. The other Cicada City. And you know those those bugs that were really hard to catch? Um, those beetles up on the up on the hill. We we might have a shot at some of those too. Because they were almost impossible to find, or to catch, and, and I'm, I'm thinking it was just because I didn't understand the instructions. And now that I do understand the instructions... I reckon we can catch them. Oh, it wasn't this hill. I think it was... Okay, give me a minute. Are there mushrooms down there? I don't remember there being mushrooms out here. Oh no. Okay, there's your Cotylodon. Right, I got it. Alright, I think it was this hill here, but if it is, then the tree, then it's definitely a bit too dark for me to see. I guess the only way to find it up. Oh, there we go. It was this hill. Let's let's see if the, the technique works. It's gonna be a little bit hard because it's dark, so we won't see when they precisely stop shaking. But we should have a chance. Wait till it stops. Move. Oh, I, I didn't wait long enough. But, but, but yes. The answer is yes, that technique works on these beetles as well. Okay, good. Now we're getting there. Let's see if we can find some more. Because there were a few on these trees. It's just, it's going to be a little bit hard to see them. Okay, it's going to be really hard to see them. There's another one. Let's, let's go with this. But we'll give it a shot. So if you're at Wahoo Beach or Spoonie, um, here's another spot. Anywhere, really, you just have to travel out to it. So wait. It's not letting me um, click, go back up. All right, we caught that one. Let's see if we can find it anymore. I'm pleased. We have found the secret of the beetles.
Amen. Oh, I see you, little red bug. It's probably a reddish potato beetle. But it might be a ladybird. We could try. It's very tiny is what it is. And that leaf is... Oh, no. Yeah. That tree is in the way. I can't see what I'm doing. All right. I know. Excuses, excuses. You're just bad at it. And again, let's have a look. I know, I'll be doing this and I'll run into a, a black widow or something. It's like, don't, oh no. I think we've found all the beetles over here. Let's just whistle up the pony before we find something we don't want to. Uh, I want to be... Uh, where's Wahoo Beach? That way, I think. Oh, no. What do you mean I need to... Oh, well, that's probably what you mean. Oh, no, because it's 5.30 a.m. I've got to be home by. Let's whistle the pony up, which means I need to leave Wahoo Beach no later than 2. Um, there are beetles at Wahoo, and I can't remember if they're summer beetles or if they're um, not summer beetles. That made so much sense. Where am I? I'm heading in the wrong direction. Yes. All right. I think we might need to head home. Let's find the tropical tundra and catch a, a catch a bus back because because the way I'm riding, I'm likely to get lost. There it is. Oh, ugh. just excuse me. I think I've got a bit of hay fever kicking in. All right, there's there's our bus stop. I know, rides straight off the mountaintop. Sorry, Luca. I know, that's why the pony never comes when I call him. He's like, what, you want to ride or you want to ride me off a cliff again? Ah, uh, well, Luca, now that you mention it. Okay, let's get this character and her child to bed. And we are going to go, as soon as we wake up, we're going to head on out to Wahoo Beach. And we're going to try. Oh, that nice man harvested my trees for me. Thank you. Man, I knew that I married him for a reason. Not just his good looks and charm. There you go. All right. So, we're going to go out and find uh, two things. We're going to try and find the, uh, you know what, give me you, come on Cody. We're going to try and find the Cicadas hi fires out near, um, actually what's my backpack like, ooh, okay, J. Uh, what have I got that I can eat? A bit. All right. We're going to go and try and find the cicadas out near Spoonie Island. Hey, Zinger, you today, is it? Look, and you're as cooperative as, as young Luca. I see. Okay, let's get you this way. Oh, and we're going to check for the beetles in the in the trees out near Spoonie. So let's let's head on to Spoonie. We'll check the beetle trees first, and then what we're going to do is check the um. Oh, and isn't there a blue butterfly that we need to catch? It might might or might not be here. I think I've got. Actually, I don't recognize. That looks like a dead leaf butterfly. Okay, we might just give me a minute while I get distracted again. Yeah, that is a dead leaf butterfly catch it just to be sure. There you are, dead leaf moth. All right. I'm a small white butterfly. We've caught those before. That's... Okay, that blue butterfly we've got. 
Well, let's just have a quick scoot and see if there's anything else that looks like we might not have it. We've got that one. It's that. Okay, that's generally a good sign that we either forgot we had it or we don't have it. Oh, I think that's a gum moth. Emperor gum, there we go. Right, so we do have that one. Okay. Ooh, what's that? Uh, I think that's like a glow, glow fly or something. All right, so what we're going to do is just run up the hill here and come back down towards one of the trees I remember seeing this beetle on. Like I said, they could be autumn beetles, in which case I probably won't see them. But duh, it's summer, so I shouldn't see them. But in case I've remembered wrong, let's just check it out. And the other way is to run through where I think they are and they'll, they'll run away and I'll hear them. Yeah, okay, so there's no... The beetles aren't here yet. Oh, what's that? It is a moth. I think we've got that one. Yeah, we do. That's a bordered white, I think. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we've got the bordered white. That's fine. There's our ginger. I'm beginning to dread what's in the mail. I, I know I didn't ship a lot, so I'm thinking, have I neglected Terra enough that she's left me? Oh, that's easy enough to tell, isn't it? Down to, actually, down to family. No, Terra's there and Fires is there. Oh, thank gosh. And there's Cody. All right, so it's not, not that kind of a letter. Okay. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. Oh, your baby white chick, white chick, red chick, white rooster chick, uh-oh, white rooster chick. Oh my gosh, the animal babies have arrived. White rooster, golden chick, yes, red chick, black chick, white and brown calf, baby black calf, white and brown male calf. Baby brown, white and black calf, baby brown calf, baby brown foal, yeah. Chocolate calf, <gasps> that could be it. White chick, white chick, gold chick, <laughs> white rooster chick, black and brown male calf, white calf, white rooster chick, white foal. You know what, I think I think we just found the special cow. We can start breeding our sheep now and maybe get piggies. Um, we we're going to go find cicadas. And then I was going to go and check out the um, uh, the crickets on the Pear Plateau. And I was going to see if they were um, crickets that we had or crickets that we've been thinking we, we have and, and being completely mistaken about. And we're also down here. Uh, right near Wahoo Beach. I'm pretty sure there's some beetles we haven't caught. But first things first. All right. That's what we're here for. And we have to watch out for, um, what do you call it? Scorpions. All right, let's see what we can do about these things. I think we might have caught all the cicada types, but I don't know. All right, that's a giant cicada. Okay, so we, we have caught one, two, we've caught four, Thai, giant, evening, and brown. So it could be that this is just kind of a repeat of the cicadas that we can get over on the island, but I don't know, because I haven't played enough with the cicadas to have been able to catch them. All right, so I'm looking at the trees and I'm looking at the ground. Oh man, only, oh, 
Ooh, that looks like a bitey. We might not have that one. Ah, but will it have us? That's the question. That is kind of pretty, isn't it? Ah, <gasps> <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, it had us because we swung a net at it and missed. How rude. <laughs> rude human. Oh, dear. And we got stung for our trouble. I'd be like, I'll go home and Fayaz would be, sweetheart, what have you been doing? And I'd be like, nothing. You know, bumps and stings all over my face. I'd be like, what have I told you about taking Cody out when you're bug hunting? Like, well, you were busy. Ooh, what's that? Oh, maybe that's a bug I don't have. Let's let's catch it and see. I forget you can find them on the ground now. Oh, how pretty is that? I think it's one we've got, but it's pretty. Yeah. Okay. Oh, cool. We can catch bugs on the ground in here as well. Okay, I know. I'm supposed to be looking for cicadas. So far, I've only found one. One. One lonely little cicada. He's not lonely anymore. There's a few of his kind in my box. In my backpack. In boxes. That, too. I know what I'm trying to say. I know. I'm also trying to not run into a scorpion. All right. Let us take Camille down to Wahoo Beach in just a minute. Break. All right, off to Wahoo Beach. Here, pony. Zinger, you're a white pony. You don't blend in with the grey palm trees. That's right. Ride your pony a little bit away from the water's edge, otherwise you may get stuck um, on an, invinci an invincible wall. An invisible wall. They're there to keep you safe, so don't complain. But they're there. Because <laughs> you don't want to ride your pony into the ocean. That's generally a bad idea. Oh man. I think last time I did it, I discovered an entire new layer of the map. There should have been signs with, you're not meant to be here, <laughs> down there. Ooh, there's a beetle. I know, I'll stop waffling now and go chase beetles. That's... Oh, I obviously missed one on that tree. <laughs> oh no, let's go find this one. This is the one we're chasing. I think it's a dung beetle though. That's not exciting. Give it a minute. <laughs> see, I told you it wasn't exciting. Don't all right, let's see if we can see any more before they before we scare them. Nope. I like that they're mostly on one side of the tree because you have less chance of, you know, not seeing them and scaring them before you've got a chance to catch them. I'm not sure if they respawn real quick though, so they might not be and maybe I'm a little bit far away too from the trees. Oh, there's one. <laughs> Excuse me. I know. All right, let's uh, let's not forget our net. Ooh, buzzing. We can try and catch ourselves a ladybird because I'm pretty sure we haven't caught that one yet. Yeah, I thought you were going to do that. Oh, ox beetle! Here's another one I want. How rude! That looks like a beetle. It does. That's going to be a hard beetle to see shaken. 
Ooh, maybe not. Oh, man. Oh, that's a pretty beetle. I want it. No. Oh, rude. Okay. Fine. Fine, beetle. There's another one. There's one over here as well. We'll get that in a minute. Let's see if we can catch ourselves a neon tortoise beetle. Or maybe, you know, any beetle <laughs> that I don't scare. Last time I was a bit impatient. Oh, I thought that was like an ultra special beetle because it was really hard to catch. Oh, more for me. Looks like another dung beetle. We'll just give it a minute though. I mean, the way it shakes that way, it looks like a bee spider. <laughs> it's not though. Nope, that was definitely a dung beetle. Something tells me there's something dreadfully wrong with these trees. They're planted in the wrong sort of thing. This isn't sand. Uh-oh. Where's that? Okay, I've missed it, whatever it is. There's two. There's one here and one here. Let's see if we can get them. I have a feeling I'll lose the second one if I catch the first. Yeah, the second one went. So when the trees are really close together like that, you're just going to have to risk it. Oh, I think there's one on that tree as well. I know, that tree, she says. I thought it was this tree. There's one over there. I have one space left. Okay, we'll catch one more beetle. Hopefully it'll be a beetle we don't have. I'm not liking my chances though. That looks kind of familiar. That's right. I've got to remember they don't stop shaking. And you have to move in the spaces in between. That's one we didn't have. Cool. All right. Let's just put our net away. We'll whistle up our pony. We're heading for home. We'll try not to run through the trees and scare all the bugs away. See. Come here, pony. Good boy. I know. Is that an abrupt arrival? You look a little unnerved, was he? We're going to head for home and call this episode at an end. And next episode, we're going to go and find all our babies. And then we're going to undertake the very, very sad task of clearing out our barns so that we can breed some sheep and look for some special sheep and maybe breed some piggies and find our special piggies because there are recipes we can't cook until we have our, our special piggies. Um, we really need to do that. Let's pop the baby into bed. But on that note, guys, I am going to leave you. 
Thank you so much for hanging with me. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit like. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe. And I'll check you later. Take care out there.